Ah. All right. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Brighton Crew Mode. Today, episode number two for you guys on FIFA 21. A little disclaimer, we are pre-recording a few episodes a little bit in advance, so I won't see your comments or be able to react to your comments into, you know, the forward episode. Say, so for example, if you ask me to sign somebody and the transfer window's done because I've pre-recorded, I'm apologizing for that now, but you will have your chance in the January transfer window. So, you know, you guys can leave comments down below or players you'd like to sign for future series, anything like that. So uh, I just want to give you that little disclaimer and uh, we'll jump right into this episode now and let's go. West Brom Albion is our next opponent and uh, I've changed up the formation just a little bit and rotated the side. I'm still trying to figure out this whole sharpness thing, as you can see, as Alizete and Lalana both have like negative five plus because their sharpnesses are so low so i'm trying to figure that out as we go i know it has something to do with the training but looking at lamptey here who is our main right back who we're keeping for the whole series uh, i don't really have any backups for him so i'm gonna try and sign a older right back that's been in the premier league for a long time who's english as well who can kind of mold lamptey and teach him and train him into being becoming one of the best i mean this player that i'm signing has really never been the best but he's been in the premier league for a long time so he knows how to play and that's uh, kind of what i'm working with also we don't have a lot of money so all right sitting down with crystal palace here i'm going in for joel ward i mean he's 75 or 76 rated so he's higher than lamptey but he's 30 years of age and uh, i'd like to bring him in as a backup we're going to offer a transfer fee uh, i had to look on sofifa for this so i'm going to offer six million and see what crystal palace say they're happy with that i may have overpaid a little bit but six million honestly isn't too much so we're going to keep negotiating with him and bring him into the side i know he has a, a higher wage but he may take a little bit of a wage cut i'm not too sure if not We'll make it work. All right, he's asking for 33K and a bunch of signing bonuses, so we will accept that. We have a new left back in as well as Oscar Boscagli. I signed him right after the last episode just to go in real quick. You guys knew he was coming in. He accepted his money of 19, well, his his money, his wage of 19 million. Not, no, not 19 million. 19K instead of uh, 10K, which he rejected. So he is now in the side as well, so he will probably get a start in this game against West Brom. All right, here we go. I kind of fixed some of the minuses by just changing the position from CDM to CM in the actual lineup. Kind of dumb in my opinion, but hey, there's West Brom's lineup. So, you know, you can pause it if you want to have a look, but let's jump into it. All right, here we go. Away today in the yellow kits. Almost said orange, but we're at the Hawk, Hawkthorns. Hawthorns. Taking on West Brom, and uh, yeah, boys, let's get this game underway. We want three points out of this one today, and uh, it's honestly, I don't feel like it's going to be easy. I'm having a lot of trouble with this FIFA uh, so far, just playing some ultimate team. It's been very difficult coming up against the CPU, so we're going to do the best we can today, and we're going to push on through, trying to get ourselves three more points, but uh, formation change might have done the job. We'll see. We'll find out. I see Ward pushing down. Also on his player debut today. Cross it inside. McAllister with a header. Close on target. But, uh, well, okay. is it, would you call that on target? I don't really know. I mean, it was at the net, but it hit the side netting. I mean, the intention was there. But we'll just go with that. I push it up the field. I'm finding the boys really aren't making a lot of runs. So some instructions might be in, you know, in need for that. Lalana to McAllister. Elzete to Mopai. Slips through, takes the shot, powers it home. 1-0 against West Brom Albion. As we go and celebrate, I mean, that was a pretty good goal after I just criticized everyone for not really making any runs. But uh, that pass in the middle from Lolana to March. Not March. Who is that? McAllister. And then Alzette, I believe. Finds Mopai. Beautiful shot. Really strong strike. And I like that in my strikers. It's like it's not a weak shot. It was just put his whole body weight into it. And it's in the back of the net. Skagley taking on Dignana. Former West Ham man. Furlong. Unable to acquire the ball. But Skagley's still going to put pressure on his man. Lalana's there. The veteran of the Premier League. Able to get away with uh, the ball there. We're going to slow it up. McAllister. 
trying to dribble through the defense and make ourselves on a breakaway. That would have been sick. I mean, that would have been sweet if we could have uh, pulled that one off. Lopai in the middle for Alzette. Try and slip it through to him. He gets past the defense, takes a shot, back of the net. Wow, that was pretty easy, I must say. I don't, I don't want to jinx myself, but hey, we are putting on a show today here at the Hawthorns. And uh, Alzette getting himself a beautiful little run movement between the midfield and the defense and uh, finds it back in the net. Same spot as Mopai put it as well. So Johnston or Johnstone is going to have to do a little bit better moving forward. All right, start of the second half and it is time. The one and only Solanke has joined the field. The big man, 69 rated. Oh, I can't wait to see what he can do. He scored some worldies for us in the Wolves career mode. Good play. Try and step into him. Okay. Offside. Offside. Yes. All right. Ryan gets the ball in hands. Johan Bashk has a lot of open space here to run. The man's got pace. He's got the dribbling. Let's see what he can do. Gonna slip it inside. Take the finesse. Oh, good save from Johnston. That was a good opportunity from Johan there. Johan. I I hate saying his name because I don't know if I'm saying it right. All right, substitution time. Time to bring on Reese Nelson for his debut. Solanke can stay. And I feel like bringing on... Alzate's done pretty well. Lalana hasn't really disappointed. Uh, everyone else is doing really good. March is just low on stamina. So we'll bring in Trissard on the left-hand side there. Inside, there we go. McAllister for Alzate. He's got some space here. He's got some space running around. Take the shot with them. Oh, back of the net. I was going to say 94th. It's not the 94th. It's 93rd minute there. Alzate gets himself a second goal in this game today. I mean, for 68 rated, he surprised me quite a bit. Not going to lie. A little ball roll there. I'm able to push around the defender, and he got that far post shot. Johnston couldn't make the save. Back of the net as a University of Wolverhampton ad is behind us. I don't know what to say. It's just, it's a sign maybe? I don't know. But hey, we're 3-0 uh, up against West Brom Albion. So that's probably the end of the game as well anyways. And uh, yeah, that's it for this. All right, next up is Chelsea. Now, there's Chelsea and they've assigned so many good players. But look at that. Havertz playing on the right. Uh, that's weird. And they brought in David Alaba as a center back. Ziyech and Werner start as the front two. We're going to go back to the 4-4-2 formation, and we'll see how it goes against Chelsea. Oh, a little showcase feature here. Anthony Rudiger coming back to his former club because they didn't want him anymore. And now he's a Brighton man, so he's still in the color blue, but none of that weird bubble gum. Six three. Okay, I thought he was six foot one. Six foot three. He's the big boy. All right, here we go, boys. It's underway at the Amax Stadium, taking on Chelsea in their bubble gum kit. I think it's awful, but that's my own opinion, and I don't care what you all say. All right, this is going to be a tough one. I honestly can feel the pressure that they're putting on us right now, and it's not going to be easy. Bernardo, thank you. They're trying to feed it to Havertz, and it's not working at the moment. There we go. A little one-two. Trossard inside for Connolly again. Connolly with the header in the back of the net. Application spending 15 minutes before license can be verified. What? I'm in the middle of a game, FIFA. We're in the middle of Connolly scoring a header against Chelsea. You can't do this to me. If this game cuts out, I'm so sorry. I've I bought the game, I own the game, and today's the sixth. I don't know why it's doing that. But hey, we scored against Chelsea. That's the only main point here. Connolly, the youngster, getting a header, kissing Thiago Silva on the forehead at the same time. And I believe their new keeper, Mendy, is in net. So, hey, we got a goal past them, which is nice. Oh, wow. Holy, what a ball. Just like that. Chelsea's back into it. Timo Werner. I mean, that's why he's on Chelsea, because he can do stuff like that. And what? I think Havertz passed him the ball. And Havertz is just a magician on the field. We all know that's the two Germans linking up. Yeah, Havertz got it. Like, what, what happened? Rudiger, I think he got lost in space, and uh, I think Lamptey was trying to take over the center back position for some reason. Yeah, there he was there. 
Good goal by them. Uh, but hey, we're back to drawing 1-1. Okay, Bashk, I don't know why you are playing in this position, but we're going to send it up to Connolly here. Try and get past Silva, who's got no pace. Take the shot. Ooh, just wide. Start of the second half now. It's been one hell of a game. I mean, from from the get-go, I knew it was going to be intense, but hey, I didn't think it was going to be this intense against Chelsea. So I can only imagine coming up against, you know, Liverpool, Man City, even Man United, Arsenal, you know, those top six clubs. It's going to be tough. And we all knew FIFA 20 last year, uh, you know, Liverpool destroyed us many times and Man City destroyed us. So we're going to see how it's going to go. I'm, my hopes aren't too high because we are Brighton. But, hey, I'm never going to, you know, discredit the boys. We're getting a good game right now against Chelsea. 1-1 one, one draw. And uh, we gotta, we just got to keep pushing forward, get those counterattacks, make those chances happen, and capitalize on them. Slow it down a bit. Slow it down a bit. Inside there for Gross. I see Basuma running. Basuma's running still. Good little spin pass. Use your strength. He's used his strength. Shot. Mendy, what a save. What a goal from Mopai. Coming up clutch. That's what he does. I'm pretty sure I set him to a striker or a poacher striker. I think that's the type of striker that comes in and comes and just bounces on the ball just like that what a shot good strength big save for mendy but hey we deserve that we earned that goal oh what a strike too that must have not been easy i bet you i would have broken my acl at the same time because i've already done that once so, uh, frank lampard not happy and uh we're up two to one against chelsea today substitution time boys team's been playing really well uh, Jahan Bash can come off for Nelson. Our boy Reese. Who's going to... Alizete. I think... Basuma's the big man. So I'll take off Gross for Alzete. We'll give him another little bit of a run. And we'll bring on Biscagli because I really enjoyed using him. And uh, Bernardo just got a yellow card. So I don't want to risk it moving forward. So some tactical substitutions here. You know, you normally don't really do that. I don't do that. I usually just sub in my best players. Reese Nelson with some skill moves. Skilly moves. Whoop. There we go. Connolly back inside for Trissard. Takes a shot. Trissard back in the net. We just ripped Chelsea apart, boys. And it's 3 1. That's what I'm talking about. Taking opportunity. Taking opportunities. Okay, we're just taking our chances. We're finding the lanes just like that. Perfect movement. And Trissard finds himself wide open, putting it past Mendy. And uh, yeah, I knew that was, I just knew that was going to happen. Chelsea were on the attack. They brought on Giroud and took off Kovacic. So, you know, you know what's happening there. big man just taking the ball away from him all five from Connolly. oh bad pass i gotta figure out how to uh not have that happen we need to get lampy stamina up that's what we need to do dude's gassed all right we're in the extra time of the 90th minute here chelsea are trying to make an effort they take a shot big save from ryan and uh, I think we're just a few seconds away here from ending this game against Chelsea. Getting a huge victory for us in the Premier League. Reese Nelson's going to try and take it away. He's unable to. As soon as Chelsea, I believe, are off the attack here, we should be able to should be able to finish the game. But we're still going. They aren't letting up. I mean, if they score now, okay, it's a good consolation goal. But realistically, oh, off the line, off the bar. Mel oh. Come on, that's so unlucky. We're in like two minutes of extra time. It bounced off about 15 people and still went in the back of the net. Takes a deflection off Lamptey's head, off the post, off Lamptey's leg. I mean, that's just EA right there. That's literally what happens in your weekend league and you're fuming and you end up losing the game and you break a controller. 
know, Giroud. Oh, man. I mean, just. That's the end of the game. We'll, we'll take the victory, three to two. That was all some EA aids, but hey, it happens. I mean, I'm not gonna discredit the victory. Connolly getting a wicked goal. Didn't expect that one to happen. And uh, Trissard also scoring a really nice uh, team play goal. Mopai uh, getting his rebound uh, off of Basuma's strength. It was a good game. I'm really happy with how we ended that. So uh, it was good. I enjoyed that one. After that big win against Chelsea, we got Bournemouth in the Carabao Cup. So I'm gonna simulate this one. But hey, we have the new simulation feature. So you can see their lineup there on the right-hand side. And uh, you can see our lineup, obviously. So we've gone up to second team. Solanke starting up top against his former team. So we're going to sim this match. And we're going to go through this whole simulation together. I'm excited because I've only done this once. And uh, being able to jump in and, you know, play at any point. Uh, I'm going to say this right now. I don't know if you FIFA guys knows, but NHL has had this for years. Just saying. You can sim through the first period. You can sim fast, slow, jump in at any point and play the rest of the game. I'm just going to say that now. We've got it in FIFA now. FIFA 21. Let's do it. So uh, we're going to watch this game and uh, let's let's see if we can get a victory under our belts. Now, I've got to figure out who's who on the pitch, player names. We're, uh, we're going to take that, you know, as we come. But we got an opportunity at the start here. McAllister scores. Beautiful. Five minutes in. No need to jump in. He's got a goal at the sixth minute. So that's good. That is very good. After halftime, we're sitting at 71 possession, one shot on target, one chance. We've got one goal. So uh, I think let's let's have a look at the fitness. Everyone's doing decent. Lana's tired. Um, so we will resume the match. How do I make subs? So if I do triangle team management, okay. All right, so Lalana and Elzete. Lalana, I can take him off for gross because it is a cup game. Um, but Utah, he can stay there. Uh, yeah, I'll leave the rest as it is, but I don't want Lalana to get too tired too quickly. Uh, I would like to use him in, you know, as an actual sub. But uh, Gross needs some game time because he, I don't think he played last game. I think, did he? I don't remember. I think he did. I don't know. Well, I was, it was all in Basuma. Basuma was the captain or the G of the last game. Takes a shot. Alzete scores. Beautiful. In the 84th minute, I didn't even I didn't even see that happening. Is that they scored? We've brought in Mopai and Veltman as well in these last five minutes. Uh, Ward was exhausted. I didn't realize Veltman could play in the right back spot, but he's mainly a center back. Uh, so I'd like to use him in the center back position. But coming on for five minutes, not a big deal. But uh, you get another rush down the field get it on target but uh, unfortunate no goal there so it looks like it's going to be a 2-0 victory over Bournemouth today it is Alzete getting another goal and uh, I'm very pleased with that so he got a goal and McAllister got a goal little update here I turned our left back into a right back apparently because I want him to be able to play across the whole pitch so I can change position to right back which I've done so there so that's good. So Austin King, our Canadian 18-year-old right back, he is now... Let's see if we can up some of his uh, skill moves. Or no, no. Let's see what we can up. His inverted right back. He's left-footed. Play on the right side. Whip in those crosses. So he's going to be a, a... He's got high, high work rates. So uh, it only take one week to make him attacking wing back. So definitely, we'll leave it at that. But having a look at him now, he can play right back, left back, and center back. So he's very versatile in the team there. 77 to 94 rated potential as well. Uh, so I like the looks of that. So uh, that is very cool. I'm glad that is, that's done with and that, that's happened in the uh, Youth Academy. We're gonna end the episode off here, guys. Next up for the third episode, we'll be taking on Liverpool to start. It's gonna be difficult. I know it is. Chelsea wasn't easy. You can only imagine how Liverpool's gonna be. I mean, they're sitting in sixth. Don't know why. Still early days in the Premier League season. We do have transfer deadline day after this game. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have any funds to sign anyone at the moment, unfortunately. We have six million to work with, and we're just probably we're probably done for signings for this you know this window. So uh, at the end of it, so I guess next episode at the end of the window, I will show you all the signings and who's been gone out, just as a quick refresher. So uh, I just want to thank you, say thank you for guys. I can't speak. I want to say thank you for watching, and uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the comment. We are climbing up that 200 mark, and uh, or well past 200 now, and we are climbing. So I'm very happy. 
and uh, I'm very excited to get this underway. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.